chicken wing. What causes it? It's not what you think. What makes you chicken wing? I'm going to show you. But what happens if I insist on keeping that elbow pointed at the target at impact? A chicken wing. Now, why is that? Well, think about what's happening here. If you come down with your elbow pointed at the target, this arm straightens out, and you're about to hyperextend this joint. Now, there's a lot of pressure about to hit that joint as you go through here. An origami golf rule is your body protects itself. And just like when you put your hand on a hot stove and boom, it pops it off, your body sees you about to hyperextend that joint and says, nope, and bends that joint. There's really nothing you can do to prevent it. Your body is not going to let you hurt yourself. As long as you insist on having that elbow pointed at the target at impact, you're going to hyperextend. If you hyperextend, your body's going to chicken wing. Just take your club, put it in front of you, and just relax your arms. And I want you to just turn your body back and forth. Don't manipulate your arms, just let it happen. Now look at what your lead elbow is doing. Goes up, comes down, rotates, open. So what's the problem? Your elbow's not rotating. If you try to swing the club like this and come down and don't rotate that elbow, when this arm gets straight, you're hyperextending this elbow. Your body's not going to let you do that. So what does it do to cure it? Every time, it's going to pull it up. Try it. Just stand up straight, and I want you to do this little exercise, but don't let your lead arm rotate. Notice in the ex when you just do it naturally, your lead arm automatically rotates. So I'm going to not rotate my bicep, and that's the only thought I'm going to have, and it's the only thing I'm going to do. I'm going to think, keep your elbow pointed at the target all the way through the swing. Do not rotate your bicep. So let's see what happens. Funny. I'm not lifting my arm. I'm not doing anything. But my subconscious is bending my lead arm. I'm not doing it. Why is that? The only thing I'm thinking about is keeping that elbow pointed at the target. But when I do that, it chicken wings. Like I said, I'm not doing it. My subconscious did it. Why did it do it? Well, there's an origami golf rule. Your body will protect itself from injury. When you're not rotating this arm on the downswing, when you get down to this bottom point, this arm straightens out and you are hyperextending this elbow joint. When this joint is here, gets locked out, and this, your elbow is still pointing at the target, you're gonna hyperextend this arm or this joint. What does your body wanna do? Well, it doesn't wanna get injured. And how does it prevent you from hyperextending this arm? Yanks it up. That's it. That is the cause of chicken winging. If you would stop hyperextending this arm and instead let it rotate as it's supposed to, you'll never chicken wing again. When you use your forearms to close the club face, what does it rotate? Your elbow. Your elbow remains pointed at the target. So I got some bad news for you. As long as you are using your hands and forearms to close the club face, 
Your elbow rem remain pointed at the targeted impact. As long as it remains pointed at the targeted impact, you're gonna chicken wing. The only way to prevent that is to make sure that elbow rotates. Have you subscribed? Why not? Go ahead and tap that subscribe button right now.